As a customer, when you log into SD-WAN Orchestrator, your main objective is maintaining the health of your SD-WAN environment. The customer dashboard is the landing page that allows for quick assessment of each site's health in a global interactive map. The sites are color-coded to quickly gauge the health of each site's deployment. The lines between each site nodes are also color-coded to identify the health of overlay tunnels between the peer sites. Generally, red indicators identifies down segments of the network, which warrant the immediate attention of a network admin. The default map view can be changed to a list view for easier sorting and search capabilities to help narrow down the focus when the list of sites scale beyond just a few locations. The dashboard provides health and usage trends in one screen. The tiles above that are showcased give a quick assessment of the network and applications. Uptime provides a quick overview of overlay versus underlay network comparisons. Underlay networks are subject to frequent blackouts and brownout conditions, which is typically why an SD-WAN overlay is needed. We can drill into the uptime quality reports to get full detail of the overlay or virtual path network and compare that to the underlay network, which can consist of individual WAN circuits. The list of the overlay tunnels will always have the weaker performing virtual paths at the top, which we can click into to identify specifics as to why that virtual path is degraded. And in this case, we had a scenario where multiple member paths encountered an outage, which resulted in the entire tunnel being degraded. This visually makes it easy to demonstrate how the virtual path is an aggregation of individual member paths. As long as one of the member paths is healthy, the overall virtual path is healthy and capable to deliver traffic. Another differentiating feature here of the Citrix SD WAN solution is that upload and download links are independently being measured and monitored. And what that means for the solution is that bandwidth available for a circuit can continue to be made use of for upload on the same circuit that may be encountering issues only in the downward direction. The SD-WAN solution is designed to provide virtually uninterrupted access to business critical apps. This report shows how often the network has been automatically saved by the solution. Top Applications provides a view of top application usage trends across this SD-WAN deployment. With ability to drill down further into any applications to help identify bandwidth consumption trends across a desired time interval. The map available at the customer dashboard is interactive and we can select any of the sites to drill down into the site level dashboard. This again narrows the focus to an individual site and the details of the dashboard are specific to that site with usage trends of uptime and again top applications. At the site level, instead of the map view, we can see the tunnels to connected peer sites, as well as the path characteristics associated with that tunnel. We can see the site-specific details of this in the quality report, and we can also select the specific peer site that we want to analyze. There's available metrics to further drill down into characteristics such as throughput. Here we can see the link usage metrics for upload and download individually, as well as comparison of overlay versus underlay traffic. One of the differentiators with the Citrix SD-WAN solution is the WAN bandwidth aggregation functionality, where individual member paths are aggregated together. So the bandwidth from, let's say, an MPLS link is aggregated with the bandwidth available from an internet link to provide the full virtual path tunnel capacity. And as the individual member paths go down, their bandwidth essentially is eliminated from the virtual path. In site configuration, adding a site is simple with guided workflows which step you through site details where you can associate the site with existing profiles or build one from scratch, selecting a device model for that site, specifying device details such as high availability, and most importantly the serial number which is used for zero-touch deployment, interface layout which determines the deployment mode, and as you build out the details for the interfaces, there's a dynamic diagram built out to help visualize the deployment with LAN and WAN side interfaces denoted. WAN link definition identifies available circuits and speeds and identifying LAN subnets for this site to advertise to the overlay. And as you finish building custom sites, you then have an option to save them as site profiles. Site profiles and templates are an easy way to centrally manage multiple sites associated with the same profile. 
you can centrally make a change to a profile such as adding a new WAN link and all associated sites will get the same update. It makes it easy to manage a large scale deployment. You don't need to touch each site to make a change. You can centrally perform the operation through a site profile. These profiles also aid with adding new sites in batch. If a new site has similar profiles such as device model, interface layout, and WAN links, you can quickly key in the site name, location, and pick that profile with three easy steps. This makes the migration process of moving a customer site to include the Nest WAN overlay faster and smoother, scaling the network with ease. The deployment tracker is where you can take those site configurations, verify the configuration is free of any audit errors, then stage the configuration and activate the devices. The staging process actually pushes down the configuration and software to the devices, and once the devices are plugged in by the on-prem installers, they will call home with zero-touch deployment and self-provision and activate, joining the SD-WAN overlay network. There's configuration of intent-centric application routing policies to easily steer traffic through desired routes in the network with three easy steps. As an example, let's say we want to break out all Salesforce traffic for local internet breakout. First, we want to identify the target app, which leverages the built-in deep packet inspection engine database. Second, we want to define a scope to use for this route policy, either globally or limited to a select list of sites. Three, we want to selectively steer that traffic to any of the available WAN services. In this case, we'll select internet service. However, there's other services such as Zscaler and CloudDirect as other options. Similar to site profiles, you are defining application policies in batch, eliminating the need to make application policy changes at each site level. For quality of service, the solution comes predefined with common enterprise applications that are already associated with the level of traffic shaping that we believe is best served for that application. Out of the box, customers typically don't need to do much here. However, the quality of service policies are available to change the default behavior and to help define any custom applications that may exist in the network. The list is top-down with more specific policies on the top and general policies towards the bottom. The integrated firewall in the SD-WAN solution is a stateful app-centric firewall. Default behavior is to allow all traffic, which can be changed to drop all traffic for security reasons. Firewall policies can then be defined to allow certain traffic through the SD-WAN solution. As an example, let's create a new firewall policy to not allow any YouTube traffic through the overlay network. Again, we could perform this operation in three easy steps. First, define the application using our DPI engine. Second, you want to define the scope that you want this firewall policy to be applied to. And third, you want to identify the action of drop. SD-WAN Orchestrator also provides the ability for an administrator to quickly look at audit logs to identify any activity in configuration changes and production rollouts that may have occurred recently, which potentially is impacting an existing deployment. Device logs are available to target a particular site and pull the respective log file for further analysis. Diagnostics is available for ping, trace route, packet capture, and bandwidth tests between peer sites so that you can properly troubleshoot the SD-WAN environment for any anomalies that you may encounter in deployment. Administration of user settings is available to be able to add additional users with role-based access to the environment. And central licensing is available to easily associate an activation code and will allow the system to pre-populate with any licensing entitlements. So overall, as a customer, SD-WAN Orchestrator can help maintain the health of any SD-WAN deployments and also allows for quick scale of that deployment by easily rolling out batch sites and leveraging zero-touch deployment functionality to auto-provision those devices and join the SD-WAN overlay.